All right, everybody, what is up? GPT-5 literally just released and I have issued four different prompts. And these aren't just your average, make me a dashboard, make me a simple web page. These are complex prompts and I wanna see if they can one shot them. Build a browser based weather app that detects the user's location based on an IP address. Also have a zip code text field in the nav bar to allow them to specify the zip code and based on the weather the ui should reflect this in the aesthetics for instance if it's cloudy the color scheme should match a cloudy aesthetic you can integrate svg animations to have clouds floating by or 3js to simulate rain falling or a 3d sun in the corner with sunshine and a bright ui i'll leave the tech stack up to you All right, here it is. Let's test this out. It doesn't look too, too bad. Um, let's try uh, 44483, that's where I live, or around about. Um, Warren, Ohio, cloudy 83. Um, I think this is actually correct information. Now, if it's cloudy, yeah, it kind of does look cloudy. Now, what if we do something like, let's, what is, uh, let's just do 90210, it has to be sunny there. Oh, <laughs> look at that, there's a, there's a sun. There is a sun over here. Um, readability wise, very difficult. You know, I'm a UI designer, so I'm looking at this. This is very difficult to read, so it didn't quite get that correct, um, but it got the general gist of it correct. And of course, we could fix this with follow-up prompts. So that is pretty cool that it actually worked. All right, so this time we're gonna ask it to build a game. Build a 2D side-scrolling Flappy Bird game, except it's based on a cyberpunk aesthetic. The background should be a dark cyberpunk city aesthetic. Use 3JS with shader effects where relevant. So this is getting hardcore. We're gonna try this out now. All right, so it says open index.html in a modern browser to play. No build step is needed. Controls is space, click, tap, enter to start, R to restart. All right, open with live server. All right. It does have a little bit of a uh, cyberpunk aesthetic with this. All right, let's check this out. Let's hit enter in space and click the tab. All right, here we go. Press enter to start. It's not doing anything. Hmm. All right, it is ready to rock. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Fly through the neon gaps, press space or click to uh, flap essentially. All right. Let's try it out. Hit enter. All right. I'm just clicking. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. My eyeballs. All right. That's actually pretty cool. Game over. Score three. Let's try it again. Now, of course, uh, we would really have to get specific and probably tell it to you know, use maybe a 3D model. We can import a 3D model um, for a bird effect, essentially. And it's really cool though that it got the shader effects uh, because the only way you can get these glows you know, within 3JS is through shaders. So I, this is awesome. I'm pretty, you know, it, it, it's not like a crazy, like the aesthetic exactly that I wanted, uh, like with a cool background, but it, it has the functionality right. All right, this time we're going to ask it to create a modern landing page for an AI-based marketing firm, give it a witty name. It should have a nav bar with a logo on the left, five links in the middle, and a schedule call call to action button on the right. The design should be fluid and dark mode by default with a dark mode toggle button to the right of the CTA button in the nav bar. There should be a hero section with a strong headline, sub headline, and a call to action button. Integrate 3JS in the background of the hero section that utilizes shaders for an interesting mouse trail effect. Ensure good UI UX fundamentals. Add a scrolling testimonial section underneath the hero section along with a feature section, client spotlight session, and a footer. Make this based on a Next.js app with Tailwind. Integrate GSAP, which is a green sack animation platform, which is for JavaScript animations, um, and use it to create a typographic animations uh, that utilize text masking, stagger, and more. Think awards worthy landing page. Let's give it a shot. Let's check it out. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit worried. 
Oh, okay. Uh, we have one issue. I, I noticed there's no mouse trail effect, unfortunately. All right, so wait, there is actually, well, it's still working right now uh, behind the scenes, but I do see a mouse trail effect. If you see it right there, it's, and I think the issue is, is uh, it's not big enough. It's just kind of in the center. So maybe it's going to fix that here eventually. All right, so unfortunately, you know, even after the follow-up prompt, it did get rid of the error. And we do have the mouse trail effect, but it's kind of relegated to the center because I think it's just too small. It needs to be like expanded outwards. After the latest uh, change, it did get rid of the, uh, the light mode toggle, the dark mode toggle for some reason, I don't know why. So unfortunately, you know, it's not able to one shot something that's, you know, really next level in terms of a landing page. All right, we're gonna try one more. Build a 3D website, 3JS, for the purpose of showcasing a web designer's portfolio. It will be a realistic 3D museum for which users can navigate with their mouse to look at different portfolio pieces as if they are pieces of art on a wall. Allow the user to use their mouse scroll wheel to cycle through the portfolio pieces on the wall and add 20 different pieces. Three should show at a time based on the wall size. And if a portfolio piece is clicked, open up a new browser tab with a website. It could be random since this is a demo. Use shaders where necessary. Let's give this a shot. All right, here it is, uh, the uh, 3D portfolio. <laughs> it's dark, it's very dark. All right, so scroll to Psycho Artworks, click a piece to open a site. So if I click this, it does open a site. Okay, example.com. Okay, so not clear it's a it's a it's a room here it's clearly not you know it doesn't look like necessarily like it's like, like it's a museum it's cool kind of it, it it added like a nice highlight here um i was hoping to see these animate in and out the room is way too dark make it much brighter and whiter also the artwork when i s scroll should move from left to right or vice versa. All right, here is the updated version. Yes, it is much brighter, <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, okay. So that did actually work exactly kind of how I imagined it would work. So that is cool. All right, so here are my thoughts about what we've seen here. We've got four different projects. They were very difficult and we're trying to get it to one shot them. And, you know, on I, I say on the first two, the weather app and the Flappy Bird, it did a you know, pretty solid job. Now, did it do a better job than somebody who's a seasoned professional, you know, working with 3D, um, front-end development, all that stuff? No. So you would still need somebody like that to steer it in the right direction to get the best outcomes. So something like this, for instance, you would, need, you would need somebody with an eye in terms of design to really make this into a really polished type of project. So that was my primary use case for this video. I wanted to see if it could kind of just one shot difficult level apps and no, it can't. So you still need to have, even with chat, you know, GPT-5, you're still going to need to have skills if you're trying to tackle next level projects like this, at least. So Make sure to follow up here and subscribe on this YouTube channel because I'm knocking out content like four to five days a week, all about AI, coding, design, building apps. Check out designcourse.com as well, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.